Okay, I'm going to make the buttons that switch between the two videos. So right here, I'm still on this video keyframe. Now I've got a piece of static text. Notice it says static text, not dynamic text. Static text says Venus. I'm going to convert that to a button. So I hit F8. I uh, hit F8. Uh, button. All right, I'll call it Venus. All right. Click OK. And then I need another piece, right? So uh, get another text tool. Call this one Ducks. Now that's a piece of text right here. I need to convert that to a button. Hit F8, right? And by the way, you might see it like this basic button. Call this Ducks. Click OK. So now I've got two buttons. One is called Venus and the other one's called Ducks, right? Nothing fancy on these buttons, um, but they are buttons. So I need to name them, okay? So uh, I'll call this Venus button. First of all, I have to select it. I'll call it uh, V underscore BTN, okay? So V for Venus underscore BTN for button. And then this one, Ducks, I'll call that D underscore BTN. All right. Hit enter. Make sure that takes. And then on this player, I'm going to select this player, and I'm going to need to give this player an instance name. So I select my movie player, and I'll call it vid underscore player. Okay. So now we're ready to code this out. And... Uh, I'm just going to hack it because I, I'm not exactly even sure how to code it, but I'll figure it out. All right, F9. F9 to open up your action script window. I'm going to set this at the top of the window here. Okay. So that was V uh, button. Let's try the D button. So I'll say, um, go two lines down, and I'll make the text bigger so you guys can see it. Okay, font size 20. Does that help out? I hope so. Uh, if not, I can make it bigger, but that's size 20. That should be good. This is my action script window, and I'm just going to say D underscore BTN, right? Dot on press equals a function. Open and close parentheses. Open curly brace. Go two lines down and close your curly brace. So D underscore BTN dot on press equals a function. That's my um, event handler function for on press for when we press the button. Okay. And then I'm just going to say, what's the name of this thing again? Vid underscore player. Okay, no problem. Uh, select my action script keyframe. Open up the action script window. And I'll say vid underscore player dot what was the um, parameter it was content path with a capital P so vid player dot content path equals in quotation marks video forward slash and then the name of the video which in this case is ducks.flv so just put that in there ducks.flv okay and then we try it out see if we get an error we didn't get an error that's a good sign of course I haven't gone to the video frame go to video click on ducks and there are the ducks and look audio on and off you could have a slider for the audio see that and I can stop it play it that's great right so now um, to add the other one for the other button I'll just copy this highlight it control C to copy go two lines down control paste and the other one was Venus, so V underscore BTN on press equals a function, and that would be 
venus.flb. So I just hit control enter, try it out, make sure it works. Video, ducks, Venus, and we're done. Okay, so hopefully you picked up this code here. Um, hopefully it wasn't too hard. There's a, the code stretched out across the two lines. Whoops. Come on. F9. There it is. I'll bring that up again so you can see it. There's the code. And uh, it wasn't too difficult, was it? Uh, pretty good. Anyway, that ends the video portion.